the Carretera Austral in rural Patagonia, known as one of the most scenic roads for adventure seekers in South America. After crossing the border and hitchhiking to Puerto Rio Tranquilo in the last episode, I will explore the marble caves of Puerto Rio Tranquilo in this episode and I will hitchhike further north to Puyuapi. Another good reason to hitchhike the Carretera Austral is that you meet amazing people like Pato. Look, this is Pato. He was my last hitch yesterday and yeah, I'm very really lucky because he has this, um, yeah, look at that, this boats with his family and they operate excursions to the marble caves here uh, at the Puerto Rio Tranquilo. This is one of the must do's when you are on the Carretera Austral and I guess we, we go fishing or something, it looks like that. Pato, es para pescados. Sí, vamos. Ahora vamos a hacer el tour. Vamos a ir a, la, a las cavernas de mármol. Vamos a visitar la catedral, la capilla. Vamos a andar en kayak allá y después vamos a ver si pescamos algo. Tenemos suerte y sacamos algo. Para <laughs> y si no, no vamos a morir de hambre. Okay, so he said we will go to the marble caves and we will visit the chapel and the, the caves with the kayaks which are over there. These are the kayaks. And if you are lucky, we will get some fish. So, but only if we are lucky, and uh, if not, we will don't, don't, we don't have dinner. <laughs> no, no. Tenemos un cordero esperándonos. Okay, okay, we have a fallback option. It's the it's the carne. <laughs> okay, so vamos. The lake General Carrera is also the largest lake in Chile. The marble caves are located right in the center of the lake and have been formed by waves over the last 6,200 years. Therefore, you are able to see caverns, columns and tunnels formed into monoliths of marble. So we are now in the middle of the marble caves. And the night in Puerto Rio Tranquilo ah, esa es la idea, ends with a nice asado. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Esa es la idea. And yeah, bueno. Cheers. And there. On the next day, I have been back on the road to hitchhike to the north. My goal was to get to the city called Coyhaique, which is around 200 kilometers from Puerto Rio Tranquilo. After waiting for around an hour, a little family took me. 20 km to the next village at the lake. So chicos, yeah, this is how the Carretera Austral looks like until Via Cero Castillo. So it's a gravel road all the time. So let's check if they can take me. And they did. Nidel and Delphine have been so lovely. They treated me with food and stopped in between to take some pictures at Via Cerro Castillo. At around 12, Delphine bought some beers for us. When they dropped me only a few kilometers away from Koyaike, I had about three cans of beer and have been slightly drunk. No wonder it took me almost two hours to get my next lift to Koyaike, where I spent the night in a cheap hospedaje. Morning from Koyaike. Today I make the next stretch to Buyuapi. This is about 222 kilometers. And if it's like yesterday, it will be quite easy to get there by thumb. Even so the road is paved at this stretch of the Carretera Austral, it took me quite a long time to get a lift from Koyaike. Manuales. This is where Eduardo, my first ride of the day, dropped me off. I covered with that about 70 kilometers and there are still 150 to go to Puyuapi.
Come on, I have chocolate. Nobody wants my chocolate. Adam, what? So my last ride took me to the middle of nowhere because they are going to some of the mines. There are a lot of mines here around where the people work. Um, but uh, with this ride I made about 25 kilometers more to Puyapi. And I'm in the middle of nowhere but again with nice landscape all around the Carretera Austral. So I will use the chance to have lunch and then we will see if there is somebody else to pick me up and bring me closer to Buyuapi. So here I am after Ivan took me all the way from yeah, from the middle of nowhere, about 130 kilometers to this place. And this place uh, reminds me a bit Germany, because the houses here and the street names. Look at that. Uh, a little German village. And I guess this will be my home for, uh, for one or two nights, because I want to relax a bit. Stay tuned for the next episode where I will hitchhike to Futulafu where I meet Chris who owns a rafting company and invites me on a two-day rafting expedition on the Futulafu River. Yeah! Until then, make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out the other videos. The other video from the Carretera Austral. Saludos!